Uh, the Honorable Member for Turtle Mountain. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, today I would like to recognize the Turtle Mountain Flywheel Club. This club has, owns and operates a non-profit museum located in Killarney, Manitoba. The club has members from Cartwright down to Wiscata with the purpose to preserve the past and farm machinery and stationary engines. Most of their pieces of equipment have been donated by members and friends of this museum. The museum is unique in that it has not, it's not owned by the municipality rather than the club of the mem member clubs. The Turtle Mountain Flywheel Club is not just about agriculture, but it has both educational and historical elements. This is done with the restoration, collection, and exhibits of agriculture machinery and equipment. It showcases farming from horse-drawn draw plows of the 1890s to more modern engines equipment from the 1960s. Each year, the museum hosts Prairie Pioneer Days. The first was held in Niga in 1977. The club is financed from the profits of their annual show in July, their blank banquet in April, plus draws, donations, and other fundraising events throughout the year. Located on the junction of Highway 18 and 3, the museum is a must-see tourist attraction. They have approximately 10-acre lot in Clarny. On the lot, there will be you will find a heated shop for its restoring equipment, a storage shed, which houses many antique tractors, including 12 steel wheel tractors and 18 rubber tired tractors that all are in running order. They also have about 100 stationary engines on, and then on site there is a sling barn filled with horse drawn equipment. Outside there's several old combines and thrash machines. All this is showcased year round in e either during operating hours or by appointments. I would like to thank Stan Hicks and his group for taking me on an amazing tour of the, their museum this past September. We are proud to have this museum of this nature in the Turtle Mountain constituency and appreciate all the hard work and the elbow grease that the volunteers have spent to make this place a destination in our beautiful province, keeping the history of agriculture alive. Thank you, Madam Speaker.